She is biking thousands of miles across the country to show her appreciation for Americans and those who serve our country. And did we mention she just turned 73 <laughs> years old? Her journey began in Minnesota, and this afternoon, News Channel 5's John Cole Newland caught up with her while she was stopped in Lawrenceburg. That story is new at 6 tonight. Among the cars and trucks that frequent Highway 43 through Lawrenceburg, there's another set of wheels. Three, to be exact. And the woman behind the handlebars is 73-year-old German immigrant Hannah Elshoff. And they wonder what the heck this is. In her solar-powered bike, she's traveling across parts of the country. An idea that came to her decades ago. Fifty-some years ago. She was 18 at the time and just arrived to the U.S. from Germany, a country still recovering from World War II. I was going to ride the my bike to Texas like a hobo. I was footloose and fancy free. And thankful to be in America. Hitler was very paranoid. First it was the Jews, and there was anybody with any strong conviction. Before the war ended, her family had become a target. If the Americans wouldn't have come when they did, I wouldn't be here. Now, more than half a century later, she's giving thanks one mile at a time. All I can say is thank you. So I can say, you are a great country, you are great people, and I want to thank you. So are my brakes, high tech, see? Averaging 40 miles a day, Hannah has come to know her bike, Elf, fairly well. These things had to be specially attached. Covered in stickers and duct tape, the three-wheel bicycle car hybrid has given Hannah the time to reflect just how fragile life and war can be. If I don't treat that third wheel right, I don't have a bike. If we don't treat the third wheels in society and pay attention to them and have it so that they can make a decent living, we will not have a society. On to 101. Pedaling from one town to another with no set schedule. No point making a plan, it's always going different anyway. Hannah is meeting new people, telling her story and learning others along the way. I am so happy and feel so fortunate that I get to do this. I, I have no regrets. Only thing I'm worried about when the two years up, what am I going to do then if I'm still alive? In Lawrenceburg, John Quill Newland, News Channel 5. Hannah is heading south to Plains, Georgia before she takes a little break. Then she plans to head even further south. She expects her entire journey to end in May 2017. She's amazing. She is. I'd like to ride in 73. <laughs>